seven martial arts you should learn in your 20s. You're missing out on specific experiences in your 20s and then regretting them later? Don't you want to lay down a solid ground base in your 20s? Don't you want to advance a supreme physical condition for your body during your 20s? If your answers to these questions are, hell yeah, then congratulations. You are an average 20-something looking to make the best of those years. The 20s are meant to be enjoyed and are for experiencing new things. Suppose one can combine that with learning a practical and valuable life skill, such as martial arts. In that case, it's a win-win situation. Launching yourself out of your comfort zone at this age can give you a boost for the rest of your life. Welcome to Brutal TV. Today, we will cover seven martial arts you should learn in your 20s. Therefore, if you are in your 20s looking to make it worth your time, you should totally give martial arts a shot and experience the advantages for yourself. But which one is the best for you? Make sure to watch till the end to find out. Number seven, boxing. You won't be surprised to see boxing on this list. Boxing is the most classic form of martial arts worldwide. It is highly effective and teaches fighters head movement and footwork techniques. It's also highly effective in self-defense situations, as most fights begin standing up. Boxing is a sport that has been approved by the masses throughout history. And it's not that hard to even become a professional boxer with practice. Boxing is something that almost everyone tries at some point in their lives. Some people get to it after the 30s and even into their 50s. It's not only the best workout, but it's also great for self-defense, as nearly every single fighting situation starts standing up. Boxing helps with head movement, reaction time, and footwork. Number six, Muay Thai. Muay Thai is a great starting point for a newbie martial artist. Muay Thai is a kickboxing martial art that originated in Thailand. Believe it or not, children in Thailand begin having Muay Thai fights at the young age of five. But don't worry, you're not too late for training. Thai people respect Muay Thai in the same way Americans do baseball. Muay Thai is known as the art of eight limbs, including punches, elbows, kicks, and knees. It also focuses on the clinch technique, which helps many other martial arts such as judo and wrestling. Muay Thai will teach you the discipline needed to study any martial art. It will get you leaps ahead of other fighters when it comes to stand-up fighting. From a self-defense standpoint, it's good, but not great. There aren't too many defensive maneuvers in Muay Thai that will help someone. But in Muay Thai, your offense is your best defense. Number five, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a ground-based grappling technique that involves the use of joint locks and chokeholds. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu supports the concept that a smaller, weaker person can effectively defend themselves against someone that's bigger, stronger, or heavier by using proper technique and leverage. BJJ is an excellent first martial art to learn because of the fantastic self-defense it provides. Unlike boxing or Muay Thai, Jiu-Jitsu does not allow strikes. Jiu-Jitsu is very popular for self-defense as the average blue belt can submit to 99% of the population. If you're dreaming about competition someday, then Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a must-have in your arsenal. Every pro fighter that competes in MMA has some form of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu training. Many defensive techniques are taught in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu that are very useful for a real-life situation. Number four, Krav Maga. The literal Hebrew meaning of Krav Maga is battle contact, and that's an accurate description of what you're going to get for Krav Maga. It was created by the Israeli Defense Force to be used in real-life combat situations. As you can understand, Many Krav Maga gurus are in their 20s. In addition to punches, kicks, and throws, it teaches real-life scenarios like disarming an attacker. Rubber knives and guns will be all around you in your training sessions. If you're dreaming about an international spy career, then Krav Maga might be the martial art for you. 
Krav Maga also leaves you open to possible injury with the constant joint pressure involved with training. If you want to compete in an official match, Krav Maga might not be suited for you. A majority of the techniques you'll be acquiring will get you disqualified in many competitions, similar to Wing Chun or Pakiti Terjia Kali. For self-defense, Krav Maga is one of the best, but it might not be the self-defense you were looking for. If you want to find out more about Krav Maga, we actually have a video about it. Take a look. Number 3. Taekwondo Originating in Korea, Taekwondo is one of the largest forms of study. Statistically speaking, Taekwondo has more fighters than any other martial art. It's even an Olympic sport. Attacks include fast punches, elaborate kicks, and basic throws. Taekwondo is exceptional for kids. It allows them to make friends and stay healthy. Is there a section for older newbies like you? It really depends on the gym you pick. Some gyms will favor more sparring, while some might not have any kind of sparring. Some Taekwondo gyms are targeted to children and wouldn't be too beneficial for an adult to join. Taekwondo's best part is that there are many variations. There's very likely to be a gym out there with plenty of 20-year-olds practicing. Number 2. Judo Judo is one of the most ancient martial arts in today's video, hailing from Japan in the 1800s. Judo focuses on throws and chokes, almost lacking strikes of any kind. Other martial arts we've talked about, like Jiu-Jitsu, actually originated from Judo. Judo is also added as an Olympic sport, so it's trendy among all ages. Although Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has passed Judo in popularity, it's still a vital martial art that should be learned. Judo is still popular among competitions. Knowing how to throw an opponent into an advantageous position is very useful for an MMA practitioner, for example. It's also a full body workout, but your core and grip will get the worst of it. Judo isn't the best for self-defense, although it may be helpful in specific scenarios. Number 1. Karate Karate is a traditional martial art from the Ryukyu Kingdom, which is now a part of Japan. Karate is one of the most popular martial arts worldwide and one of the more notable fighting styles observed in movies from the 60s and 70s. Beside the fact that karate is popular in films, it is also going to be seen in the next Olympics. Of course, karate is mainly for kids, but that really depends on whether you're looking for a traditional martial art or something more focused on fighting. Karate isn't that great for self-defense. However, it is excellent for controlling one's anger and general emotions. So, what do you think about these martial arts? Aren't the 20s the best time to learn them? Or do you have some other martial art on your mind? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload, and you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way. Thanks for watching.